to listen to more ritual pastas, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. It is said from very few individuals who know such an entity that the knocker tell is a tall and thin creature with multiple joints in its limbs, two glowing bloodshot eyes on the back of its head, and two mouths on the front of its head. One of its mouths are stitched shut. It tends to reanimate dead mice and other rodents that crawl inside your walls. If you were to gaze directly at its eyes, it is said that it will cause a person to suffer from insanity or night terrors. The knocker tail tends to crawl on your walls and ceiling, never touching the floor or ground. Now, why would anyone want to summon such a creature? Simple. It is said that the knocker tail can answer any question given to it. No matter how vague the question may seem, there is a ritual that can be performed in order to summon a creature. In order to summon a knocker tail, you must do it on a lunar eclipse in the season of spring. You will need three red candles, desert sand, a door with a knocker, and a burlap bag. You must perform the ritual indoors with no one in the room with you. Be sure that the room is absolutely dark. Once you are in the pitch black room, place the candles in a triangle like position. Then, light each candle with a lighter or match. After that, create a circle around you with the desert sand. At this point, you are able to sit in the circle that you have created. Once you are in the circle, place the burlap bag on your head. Honestly, at this point, I'm not exactly sure on how many would know of the Nakratel's appearance. Once the steps are complete, you should chant out, Tanunk say scientism. Repeat the chant until you hear knocking on the walls of the room. Once you stop the chanting, you should hear it knocking on your door with the knocker. You should then tell it to enter the room. You are only able to ask one question. Once the question has been answered by the knocker tell, the creature will then leave your presence. Be sure not to mock or give any form of negative response to the creature. It is said that it is able to place a curse on you if you were ever to do so. Once your question has been answered, politely thank the creature for arriving and answering your question. After that, blow out the candles and clear off the sand. You may then continue on with your day. It is said that depending on the question and answer, you will experience a change in sleep, belief, personality, emotional response, and possibly your view on reality. Be sure to perform this ritual with caution.